Can you guys hear me all right? Let me know if you guys can hear me okay. All right, let's get started. We're going to jump right into it. Let me pull you up on my screen here so you guys can see. All right, here we are. You're looking at one of the new UI setups for matches in Metal Gear Online. Hi, I'm your host, Robert Peeler, the Metal Gear Community Manager, and uh, we're going to be playing a match right away. We're going to be playing Sabotage on Coral Complex in the day. I'm going to be playing as Quiet. This is like the tenth time I've played as Quiet, so I'm still not that good at her, but I give it a shot. Uh, you guys let me know what you think, uh, ask some questions and stuff. We'll have three matches. We'll start with this one, and then we'll move on to two more uh, in different uh, maps, okay? So look forward to it. Also, there's like a two-second delay, so again, my playing with sound isn't the perfect time timing, but we'll give it a shot. Hopefully I won't run into any issues. All right. Oh, and by the way, we're playing with the Japanese dev team in Japan, so you might hear them shouting Japanese here and there. So let's give it a shot. All right. I have a combat knife, but we're going to start out just trying to show off some of the things that Kawhi can do, uh, her running, her movement. She's really good at sniping, but I'm really bad at sniping, so maybe it'll balance itself out and I'll be right in the middle. All right, I have a combat knife, but we're going to start out just trying to show off some of the things that Kawhi can do. Destroy both All right. We're on the attacking side on a sabotage match. So we need to make it to one of the terminals and hack it. Now, what Kawhi can do is run really fast. You can also do those, those dashes, but you can also jump quickly up ladders. Which is really powerful, helps you get up places really fast. We're going to see if we can hack this terminal right away. Oh, someone's getting at me. Ah, oh, I got from behind. So, do we have some defense there? Alright, let's see if we can get the jump on them. Watch out for that fire. Nice, thanks for the cover. Huh? Whoa. Gotta watch out. Just because you're quiet doesn't mean you're invincible. But you can jump ahead of your friends. You can also fall to any distance as quiet and not receive any damage whatsoever. Perfect. Oh. Great. Alright, let's see if we can get back up there. Again, notice you can do that super dash. I missed that because I'm an idiot. Alright, let's keep trying. Oh, I got caught by an ocelot. Sweet. See, even quiet subject to that kind of stuff. Let me go, let me go. Alright. Nice work. Oh, they got me before I get to it. Okay, so... The missiles have a lot of defense, and I could go shooting at it, but it's not likely I'll catch it out. So it's a better chance to try to fold it down. Ah! Someone can see me. Alright, I'm gonna try using the knife. Oh, I used to kick instead, that's okay. No, no! Watch out! Ah! Killed on a slide, nice. Alright, gotta get after that missile. Don't got too much time. It takes a long time for the missile to get Fulton ultimately. Break on that door, but I think we'll go for the main entrance. Oh, I'll go to the side entrance, good. Oh, it's over back up, huh? Ah, oh, damn it! Alright, well, I'm the worst. Let's keep going. Nice, someone did it. That's me sliding into the wall, guys. Uh, 
Now, you can also deactivate both of the terminals, which is include. Oh, nice. Nice trap. Which increases your chances of getting it up quicker. Yeah, I said that on stream. Again. Was anyone up here to defend it? Nope, defend me. Perfect. Teamwork is essential, as always. Ah, I lost it. What am I an idiot? Come on. We can do it. We can do it. Almost there. Almost there. Perfect. Okay. Holding that. Anybody defending it? This guy? Nope. Don't worry, I'll try again. Never give up. Come on, now, now. Where are these guys up above us, aren't they? Almost, almost. Almost. Ah, dang it. They're good. Where is this person? Ah! Ah! I got me before I got there. Let me get the balloons. Loss! Well, shows how good I am. I'm not good. That's the point. But still! You can see Quiet, and she's especially good. Get her in the hands of a good player. You can see some pretty impressive stuff. Alright. Let's try again. So yeah, you also are seeing sabotage mode in its glory here. Lots of opportunities to hack the terminals and also hack them back if you're on the defensive team. This time we're going to be defending it, so we're going to be watching for people hacking the terminals and going right back after them if someone takes them out. We'll also be shooting down balloons, and they have to be shot in a certain order. The smaller ones first. And they got a bit of defense too, so it's not easy to. It's not particularly easy to defend as, as well as it is to attack. We're gonna have to see what we can do better. Alright, find me some stairs, find me some stairs. Ah! Watch out. Descent? Who is it? Be a little tough with all these railings. Let's try to get out of that way. Oh, it got me before I got there. Nice job. Uh-oh. We gotta hack those back. I'd like to say that I did better when I wasn't so nervous and pre-testing, but I didn't do so great that either time either. It's okay. Give it a shot. Come on, out of the way. Let's see if I can hack that back. I love that ladder. Best ladder in the game. Also, that's a problem with Fult uh, Quiet, is she can't Fulton anybody, and she can't do any CQC. But she has to have her drawbacks, because she is very, very, very powerful. Nice, thanks for the support. Hacking it back. Alright. I'm gonna get it. No, don't get it! No! 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 Ah, they did a great job. All right. And there we are. Sabotage on Coral Complex. Woo! Twice the loser. Shameful. All right. 
Now we're going to go to another match. It's going to be Sabotage again. But this time we'll be jumping to one of the other new maps. I believe we're going to Azure Mountain right now. Do some stretching here. Perfect dances. I love it. What? All right. No, K code members don't get early access. It's just for our inept players at MGO who also happen to be community managers. That's all right. I'm giving it a try. All right, so here's Azure Mountain, very square ish map. But you can see it's kind of open in its field. So you can't pass these borders without kicking yourself out of the match or going into suicide, but you can. Explore this space pretty well. There's a lot of places to go, but it's very different compared to the other maps, considering that it is quite open like that. Here, I'm going to pick you a new song for you guys. Let's try some Snatcher, huh? Oh, yeah. Gotta love those Snatcher games. All right, let me show you some of the preset text you can add in these prep screens. You can also switch to the audience from just your team members to the entire group, everyone playing. Alright, so this time I'm not quiet, but that's alright. We're going to run into her. She'll probably kick my ass a bunch of times. But I am going to try to use that combat knife. Let's see if I can pull it off. I'll show you a few of the moves with it. You got a single swing, two taps, you get a double swing, three taps, you get a third swing, four taps, you get a stab. You can also put in first person view if you want. Can't really see what's going on, but you can tell if you know what you're doing. Alright, nice. Let's see if I can sneak up on this person. Get a nice knife kill. No, nope, no sneaking. Ah, last one too. And got CQC, lovely. No use with that knife for me. I'll have to do better. Let's give it another try. Alright. Okay, so this map... Got me back. Okay, so this map. Nice. I've killed. See, good in a pinch. When they don't know you're coming and you're backed up by three other players. Alright. Now, the nice part. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm gonna have to get this guy. Nope, not gonna make it. Nope. I love my dolphin dies. Ah, I got me on the throat. That's okay. All right. So this map, when you die, the respawns are near kind of the corner there. So you got to watch for people coming from all nine different, all kinds of different angles. And because because the map is so open, it's hard to just catch them on corners. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to kill Walker. I'm gonna go out of the way. All right. Switch to assault. Now let me show you the top of the mountain. All right. Now we smoothed out the back. Ah, someone got me from behind or above. I think it's above there. But we did get the balloons down. Come on, wake me up, wake me up. Alright. Someone patted me awake. You guys didn't even see it, but. Are you dead? Okay, we smoothed out the back, so it's much easier to get to the top of the hill because, especially on sabotage, that is where the missile lies. 
So you're going to need to be able to get up there quickly as both, as both defenders and attackers. You also have this use of mortar here. So you don't constantly have to just be shooting from angles. You can also, some, you can also toss some grenades down. Hopefully that helps. Alright. Let's see if we can find somebody on the back end. Now, when it's orange like that, it means you can go and hack it back in. Get that in the air. Alright. Let me see if I can hack this back. Hopefully, so there's some defense here. Looks like there might be some smoke here. There's a person right behind me who just caught me off guard. Alright, that's okay. Nice work. Help you know, our friends up the top. That's the box. There we go. I'm not done here, but they can't really get it too much. Now you can actually attack it here, but again, the defenses of the missile are extremely strong. Even when the electromagnetic barrier is down, it's still really hard to just get a complete explosion by shooting it, even if you have your own whole team going after it, it still takes some time, so you usually have a much better chance of Fultoning it, but of course people can defend with those giant orange balloons signaling where to fire. Yeah, let's see if we can get anybody coming on the back. Come here. Looks like they're down there trying to hit to the terminal, already hacked it. Already dead. Got quiet down. Nope. Ah, I got me with my reload. Nice defense. Okay, so like I said, you can spawn from lots of different locations on here, and because it's a big open map, these aren't necessarily cover locations, not necessarily ambush locations. And of course, we'll watch these spawn locations, and if they're abused in a certain way that you know the community has found out or arranged or discovered in a way that we haven't figured out, we'll look to change them. The team has also been looking to change spawn locations on the other maps, existing maps of the game. So we'll see how that moves on. We'll listen to more feedback from the team, or from the players. Everything behind? Yeah, no. Got him. Let's try this. I'm in cover. Back to back, all right. Uh, well, they got the missile anyway. Okay. Whew. You guys make me so nervous. You're doing all right, though. Let's try. Shield with knife, see how well that works. Now you got one terminal pretty close, but as you can tell, both teams don't spawn particularly close to the missile. They're closer to the terminal, so there's a good chance for both attackers and defenders to get to either of these terminals. Oh. Damn it. Oh, nice. Order fire. arm kills. <laughs> so look how far some of these spawns can be when you're on the attacking side. You're going to have to trek a little bit of ways. That's okay, we're going to go after that second.
terminal and improve our chances of Fultoning it the first time. Maybe we'll uh, see if anybody's going to try to rehack the one we already got. Is that still using mortar fire? See, and also, some people don't consider that you can actually get both of them at the same time. We're going to find out if there's anybody defending it. Ah, there was. They said traps. Smart people. And they noticed me here. Yeah, right next to me, dude. No defense. All right, whatever. <laughs> they got them too. Okay, that's fine. All right, they got back to the other terminal. So I'm gonna go after that same terminal again. That's right, there's a ponytail added. Glad you guys noticed that. So we put in a few of the new changes coming in the patch. Some new cosmetic changes, some new small pieces of gear, including the t-shirt with emblems. She's a little hardest to get. Uh, this is good enough. Let's move along. Alright, almost there. Letting it properly. Help this guy out. Oh! Someone's right outside, huh? Oh, well, they're not looking. Did you get him? Oh, no, you didn't, did you? Come on, three and kill him. All right, someone else will do it. Perfect. Ah, oh, no! Not enough. Ugh. Okay. So let's attach the Fulton missile. Will it be enough? Got two guys up there. We got people shooting from below. Distract enough that I can get him. Nope. Ah, I always catch me with that. Whew. No one's gonna be able to help me. Those Fultons. No! There I go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as you remember, one of the changes we made, if you're Fulton out, your respawn is your headquarters, your HQ, your team HQ. You can't simply get Fulton out and show up somewhere else. It is auto aim. I forgot to turn that off. I need to be better about that. I normally have it off. And I normally must work, work therefore for it, but you gotta practice it. You never get any better. Alright. By the skin of our teeth. to the last map that's coming new in the DLC, Rust Palace. We're going to show you lots of interiors. Now it's six mostly to the interior, there's a gigantic building right in the middle of it.
Let's all hang out together. Do our crazy poses. Woo! Yeah! As you can see, you can slowly, with the tilt of the directional uh, stick, move in and out of that animation. So you can kind of set up animations if you like move smoother together, or ones that look better if they're slowly eased into it. All right, here we are, Rust Palace, daytime. Let's go to. Let's do some Jahudi. Check out this new mission display in our new UI. Of course. Get going, yeah. So yeah, nice chat menu on that previous screen, so you guys can get to know each other. We'll talk with the teams you're facing, as well as coordinate with your team and decide what strategy you want to take with using some of the preset text. Protect the missile. All right. We got one spot over there. A missile's hidden back here. Now you notice you have this A gun, but it can't shoot through that blockade. So no one can shoot the missile that way. But it can face out. Alright, someone already gotten it. Oh! Oh! Ambushed here. Nice. That quiet's too damn fast. Alright, you can see it's from the map. A couple spawn locations, one directly inside the building. Let's see if we can help ourselves with some second floor work. Defending this spot. And watch out because there's lots of holes here. So you can easily fall through. Have to make your way back up. Hopefully none of you are that unaware. Let's see if anybody on the outside. There. Let's see if there's anybody on this side. Oh, uh, it's already getting shot at. Nice. Nope, nobody on that side. At least not that I can see. Ah, someone got a core on That was too slow. Usually the case. Down we go. Let's stay away from those red barrels. An easy target. Here we gotta defend it. Let's see if I can do it from the outside. Who's going after it? Enough grenades. Oh no, damn it. Just fast. But I can still do it. Now, like I said, she can't do any CQC, so her only choice at that close quarters is to use the combat knife or just kick you down, and it takes a couple kicks to completely defeat you, to stun you out. Uh oh. Someone needs to hack that back up. Fast! Quiet, right, you're killing me. Oh! This thing's gotta pull me. Ah, it's my mind. See, it is possible to blow up the missile, it just takes a lot of extra work. But if you're coordinated enough, you definitely can do it. 
Nice work, guys. Alright. Let's try using a combat knife again. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun giving that another shot. <laughs> she is stupid fast, Jen Snake. Can work for you or against you. That and I'm slow, so it didn't help. Nice. Right, let's see if I can't get back that missile. No! No! Too fast for me. Expert sniper too, like, again, my sniping skills are shitty so if I can you know headshot people pretty easily with her it shows how powerful she is just saw her right fast didn't we? all right let's see if I can pull it help the team out the other side they're not protecting and to shoot at it anyway except some of my ammo Down you go. Nope. Try and get the combat knife. She's too fast. She got away from me. So look how fast she goes. <laughs> Slow down! Oh, someone else got her. Let's help with this bolt. I blow it up. Always worth it to go for the full. No, not always. But it's all. No! Too many body shots. Fast enough, man. Can you shoot it, guys? Anybody? Nothing. Alright, that's okay. Give this another go. That's enough, you guys? Anybody? You got it? Ugh. Wow, nice sniping. Of course. Of course it's her. Of course! No, you can't rock with the knife, but that'll, that would be awesome. Suggestion number 365 going into uh... Alright, just didn't notice me, that's cool. Nope! What? No! Not fast enough? Oh well. They're working well together.
Fourteen percent. I think we just get it to explode if we're fast enough about this. You noticing me? That's fine. Can't shoot from that corner. You're gonna come around. Percent. It's not easy. It's just me. I need a couple of people to help me out. Ah, waiting for me, waiting for me to die. I'm not foolish enough to stick around. Come on. No! One percent! Did we get it? Did we get it? Did we get it? No! One percent! Oh, so close. Oh, wait, wait. What happened? Ah, oh, not close enough. This close. Come on, come on. No! One percent! Did we get it? Did we get it? Did we get it? <sighs> nice work. Nice work, everybody. I wanted that. I wanted that bad, but not bad enough. They wanted it more. I wanted this more. See how creepy it looked? Alright, anyway. So those are our three matches. Whew. That's all the stream we're going to do. Wow, level level four. Fantastic. Now we can play around the free play lobby a little bit. I'll show you a little bit of the appeal actions. How you can switch them up. Nice work, quiet. Oh my gosh. Now we can play around the free My head hurts a little bit. Let me put this down. Alright. First of all. Yeah, let's call it a day. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys. Those are all matches for now. We're gonna go jump into free play lobby a little bit. Show you some of these appeal actions. Let me catch your breath. I'm a bit tired. It's a little late here. It's late for you guys too, I'm sure. Can get out of here on this bridge. Alright. Can you please show us the codex? Yeah, I can show you some of them. You can see all the different codex here. In this mode you can see how we have different terminologies listed here create this little chat log where you can put in any one of the terms available I mean every one of our weapons and items and tools and support weapons and secondary and primary weapons any one of those we got some post combat comments I did the worst. It's true. It's fine. Just gotta practice. Let's see. You can pick out some uh, in combat terms here. To pick out uh, maybe some strategies you want to communicate to your friends. Also, some specific, specific strategy phrases such as defending our base. Some announcements about whether or not you're in the game. Whether or not you're about to leave, if you're getting sleepy. Some salutations and greetings to welcome people. I used to say this a lot. There's, I mean, any question about why I say that a lot. Alright. So those, and that's another method. And again, you can say this to everybody in the match. Or you can switch to just your team. Or you go back to the classic mode. Those are those. Those are the phrases that have uh, voice commands that you're all familiar with. <sighs> all right, 
answer a couple questions here. I saw one about ranking system. So yeah, we're adding a ranking system to the next update. Now, in the next update, as you know, survival comes a little later. It comes in early April, April 7th, I believe. So with the advent of survival, the ranking system and some other things are going to change. But when the ranking system arrives in the March update, you can receive ranks and you receive the stats based on you know, receive, the, receive the stats that build up your ranks and define what ranks you have from um, F to S through both auto match and create a match functions so the two major modes that come standard with Metal Gear Online you can change your ranking stats based on those two modes however with the advent of survival can no longer achieve certain rankings or achieve ranking stats in general in the create match mode. So when you're searching for matches that are created by other players, you can no longer receive any ranking stats based on those modes because that will be eventually seen as a form of abuse ultimately. However, you can still get ranking stats in auto match if that's your preferred method of play or in survival match. So you can pick either auto match or survival in order to achieve those ranking scores. That only comes though when survival arrives in the game in April. Okay? In the meantime, try to rank up in both your own created matches and matches you join as well as auto matches. Alright. Okay, is it is survival weekly, like once a week? or once a weekend, or every day within the week. So we explained already that if you purchase the Cloaked in Silence expansion pack DLC, when survival arrives, you can do unlimited survival attempts. That means one attempt would be playing survival until your team loses and you no longer receive their survival bonuses, or playing and you keep winning. That is considered one attempt. When you have the Cloaked and Silence DLC, you can play unlimited amount of attempts all through the week, 24-7. Now, that was decided to give players more time to choose when they want to play. And we are definitely aware that there are plenty of players who want to restrict how much time you can play survival during the week in order to gather up the community as much as possible at a certain time each week. The team is aware of that concern, and they're looking into ways that they can possibly modify survival before it launches and after it launches in subsequent patches but I don't have any news about that just yet now if you didn't buy the Cloaked in Silence expansion pack DLC you still are able to try survival when it arrives in April a limited 10 times 10 attempts per week that resets every Tuesday's maintenance so you can still try that out and if you didn't buy the DLC, which comes with the new maps, you can try out the maps for free before buying anything in survival mode, those 10 attempts per week when that arrives. So players who bought the DLC when it comes out in March get first dibs on all the new maps exclusive to purchasers of the DLC. But in April, everyone can try it. Everyone can try the new maps, and everyone can try survival mode. Now, Quiet also is only, only, you can only play as Quiet if you buy the DLC, but you can play matches against people who have Quiet on their team. You simply cannot play as her if you do not buy the DLC. Now, Sabotage, the new mode, the new mission, is completely free for everyone regardless. So, in auto matches, in created matches, in survival mode, you can play Sabotage in any one of these matches without any purchases whatsoever. Alright, that's a bit of some of those answers, some of the things you guys already know, but hopefully helps those who didn't know. Alright, let's go ahead, my low level character, and look at some of our available appeal actions. Alright, first let's look at some of the default appeals. So you got, there's first one right here. This. This you get for free, as well as the snake, ocelot, and quiet appeal actions, as well as the basic appeal actions. 
No, I'm sorry, just just these right. first set. Sorry to be confusing there. Default, Snake, Ocelot, and Quiet come free. Everyone will get those. So I can do the default appeal, which is similar to the buddy, you know, connection. I can do a Snake from one side or the other. I can do Ocelot from one side or the other. I can do Quiet from one side or the other. And if I buy the basic appeal pack, I can do kind of the yes motion, the no motion, right hand, left hand, right extension, left extension, this push <laughs> pose that I know everyone will love, this slump, because you didn't buy the DLC, this battle pose is the part of the battle appeal pack, you got this honorific Japanese bow, you got this I'm prepared kind of pose going for you. You can battle appeal on the right side, you can battle appeal on the left side. You can do this kind of pose if you're trying to point people to Muscle Beach. Or this kind of pose if you're trying to tell them where they can find their lost dog. Both sides. And you got your dance appeal pack. Now this one is best designing a conjunction together. I'll show you how that works. Let me assign that to up. This to the left, this to the right, this down. Okay, let's go for that one. Yeah? And you just hold in R3 to begin. It starts you off in your neutral, and if you want to do buddy ping, you just press triangle. We'll set up your buddy ping. All right, let's go ahead and do uh, some poses here. You just hold up your left analog in the direction you want to go. You go in a circle like this, and go down, straight up, down, straight up, do some calisthenics here. Jump to the right, jump to the left, jump to the right, jump to the left, or I can just circle about it and do this crazy, crazy dance. And I like how it, it integrates together in this like slow movement so you can really kind of create any pose you want. Alright. Get out of that. Customize a little bit more. Show you the other dance appeal actions. Alright. We've got this carnival dancing kind of mode. You can go right, you can go left, you can go straight up. You can stand to the right. Hand on your hip, looking sexy. Or stand on the left. You can lean to the right, lean to the left. And then in our hero pack, hero appeal pack, you got. All your Ginyu Force poses. Which I hope to see more than anything else, really, because this is my favorite one. Yes, you can also buy the Expansion Pack DLC. And yes, you can also buy the Appeal Pack actions. Or you can just sleep. Alright, there's your Appeal Packs. Whew. Why am I so tired? Alright, well, that pretty much sums up most of what we're talking about today. I'll answer a couple more questions, but mostly I want to thank you guys for sticking with us this long. We've got our first DLC coming out. Cloaked in Silence, Playable Quiet, three new maps, a March update with tons of changes, including new balance updates, new UI changes as you saw, Bunch of new preset text, a bunch of new songs, really cool songs that I know you guys love. A random mode that allows you to switch songs. That's coming with, uh, I believe, the survival aspect. Again, survival coming in April. Lots of really cool stuff to look forward to. And I really appreciate you guys checking it out. There is new gear. There is new hair. There is a fro. There is a ponytail. There is a new t-shirt with emblems. I'm not going to show you that, guys, today. We saw some of that in the matches. That's all we're going to show about that for now. But yeah, you'll see the new update with all kinds of new stuff in it pretty soon. March 15th is when it arrives. Please check it out for all platforms, PS4, PS3, Xbox One, Xbox 360, and of course Steam. And hey, we're not done yet. I wanted to give you guys a couple Steam codes. So let me go ahead and pull that up. Hopefully my laptop didn't die. Uh, stretching. And thanks for sticking with me 
All by myself here, all by my lonesome. You'd be surprised it's not as easy as it looks. Or not as bad as I play. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and type some of these into chat. Omitting, of course, one letter. So any bots aren't going to catch it. Not sure that's always going to be a problem, but we'll give it a shot. While I'm typing this, why don't you guys think of some more questions? See if I can answer them. All right, here's one new PC code for you guys. First one to grab it, finish that missing figure. Now, I don't know if you guys saw, but we also have a new quiet figure coming out. I think it's 1 16th scale. So I hope you guys check that out. It's pretty fantastic. All on myself. Gonna have to save up a harder in cash. <sighs> is the rank updated weekly or per match? It is updated weekly during maintenance periods, I believe. Mm, show the knife movement. Sure thing. Let's see. Do I have it on hand? I do. All right. You got one swipe. You got two swipes, two button presses. Three swipes, three button presses. And a four. We'll do the close-up stab. You can also do it in first person. There you go. No problem. Show the gear. Sorry, I can't show the gear right now. Maybe another time. But you guys will probably catch the new update before I get a chance to do that. But we'll see if I can do it next week sometime. Oh, uh, let's see. Can the knife be used in cloak and dagger? Uh, I won't answer that for now. Let me check to make sure I can give you guys that answer 100%. Is there no hold button for stab? You can do this kind of stab. The hold button is a stab, as you implied. So very similar to how MGO2 worked. Are you going to post any more? Uh, posting more what? Things? Yes. But not sure what you're asking for specifically. Faces, can we change them? Not just yet. That's something that we want to do, but is not in the next update. What happens when host quits survival? Just like other matches, it restarts the match. And I did see definitely people complaining that there is the possibility that that will get abused by people losing matches and starting them over and reinviting their hosts. Uh, there's two aspects to this. One, frequently abandoning matches gets noticed on our side. And it's something that we don't let continue for too long, hopefully. Um, I won't go into any more details other than that. The other aspect is I have definitely brought up this concern with the team, and they are heavily considering what they can do to counter it or counter any potential abuse. So no concrete information for you right now about that, but they are looking into what they can do. I am KJP Dev on Reddit. I have been forever. Well, since I started working for Kojima Productions slash Konami. Is there an update to stun waking up assist action, replacing the kick? Yes, the March update has the pat action. I saw someone using it, but I think you guys might have missed it on the stream. So you also have to wait till the update goes out to see it in action. Let's see, dedicated servers, not anytime soon, unfortunately. It's a cost prohibitive change that won't likely happen anytime soon, unfortunately. Shineable title shirts, there were some in, you know, the match itself. Uh, I'm not going to show you any right now, though. Can we have friends in free play or for practice? Uh, the team has been wanting to do that since before launch. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to just yet, but we're still looking into it as a possibility. It's just not going to happen in March ending. And I can't say when it will happen, if ever. Can we have friends in free play or for practice? Shout out to Chickwee. And my dad? I don't. Is that a thing? I don't know. 
that's okay. Will Intel skill affect speed that e locator spots enemies? Uh, I don't have an answer for that 100%, so I don't want to give you a false answer. I'll look into it though. Let's see. Are they still working on the patch? The March patch is complete, and it was already submitted and approved, so it is going out on schedule. We shouldn't see any delay on that for sure. The, the April survival update is already in submission. Um, so no changes to it before April, but it's not yet past submission. It's in the process. It should be fine. Is North America getting tournaments like Japan has already had two? Well, we already have the ESL tournament, which some people like, some people don't like. Um, and we're definitely going to finish that out. And then we're looking into doing other things, including things with PC and things with PS4 still. Um, Japan's two tournaments were two LAN tournaments. So we're definitely looking into the possibility of a LAN tournament, but I got nothing to say about exactly what we have planned or if we can do anything at all. I'll update you when we know more. Uh, why is the DLC Complete Bundle Pack only available for PS4 and Xbox One, but not Steam? Uh, we're actually work working with Valve to get it on Steam. Uh, I'll update you when we know exactly more, but the intention is to have it available there as well. Why weren't you at my Little League game? Because I'm a terrible father, except of my own children, which I hope I'm a good father with them. It's the Knights of Any Weights. I don't know. Let's see if we can find out, yeah? It's a good question. Oh no, there. Loadout. I don't see it displayed. I imagine it doesn't. It's a default item that everyone carries. So, I'm guessing no. But I will 100% check that because, I mean, it doesn't make a lot of sense that it would, but maybe it does. Who knows? We'll find out. Uh, clans. The team has always wanted to add clans, but it's... Uh, clans. The team has always wanted to add clans, but it's a big effort that we haven't been able to do at launch just yet, and not sure when we'll be able to do it in the future, but we'll see what we can do in the future. In the meantime, there are lots of people who form clans on websites, and I know that's not ideal, but I don't have to do for now. Land would be great for our own tournaments. I mean, the only check that is not in a LAN system is the matchmaking and the check with, you know, Sony if you're on PS4, Microsoft if you're on Xbox One, Valve if you're on Steam. And those are currently necessary in order to begin matches in-game. So yeah, a true LAN mode that doesn't require that at all is not in the system. Uh, it's something we want to do too, but currently it's not available. We'll look into it for the future. But other than that, I mean, if, as long as you can get that check in, it's basically land at that point. You just got to get past that barrier. Uh, let's see. Will 360 be getting host migration? We do not have host migration. No. Platform has host migration. So 360 isn't singled out in that sense. Um, but yeah, there are some things memory-wise that we can't do on 360 or PS3, unfortunately. Um, the team did their best to get as much on all platforms universally as they could. But there are some memory barriers that prevent us from doing certain things, unfortunately. Any word on contextual lean being mapped to buttons? Currently, no. I brought it up several times, but currently it's not in the works as far as I know. Uh, I haven't heard anything that they're going to add it. But, you know, I can always ask again and see if they're considering it for the future. So far, no. Uh, what are Konami's thoughts on FOV mod on PC? Our thoughts on mods in general is no comment. Just shut down PS3 and Xbox 360 Geo. Why would we do that? There's people playing on it. That makes no sense. In-game tournaments, because ESL is star, star, star. Thank you, Twitch, for blocking that. I don't feel like reading first words in the late evening. Uh... In-game tournaments is not as easy as you think, and in MGO2 they are highly manual, which makes it difficult to just simply add them when our employee bandwidth isn't as high as it I don't know if it was higher or lower, but it's just not high enough, I would think, at this point, and 
really, we really do like the way we're operating on a third-party basis. We know not everybody does, and we want to add things as much as possible, of course, to the game, but we put it all on a priority list. I would say in-game tournaments is not high on the priority. We have other things that are more important from our perspective. Sorry, Nolan. Can't please everybody. More rounds in our matches. I think that sounds pretty cool, actually. Um, you know, as a player of other shooters, third person and first person, some have multiple rounds past two, some don't. And I've always found that int intriguing in different games. So that would be cool. Uh, currently, no plans. It would require quite a lot of dev effort to make those changes. Uh, the equivalent of adding a new mission entirely. And I think people would rather more new missions than the same missions with more rounds. So, no plans just yet. Weapon restriction options, non-lethal CQC only. I would love that as well. Uh, again, that requires a bit of effort on changing a lot of things regarding the UI and a lot of system changes. So currently not in the works that I can announce. Uh, we did add a lot of preset options that tell you when you're organizing matches with other people what kind of gameplay style you want to play, especially um, match callouts and descriptors and things like that. But of course, that's not a fail. That's not a foolproof solution. People would prefer to be able to block it. So we're working on it, but I can't say it's coming anytime soon. Or not at all. We'll really have no announcement on that. Can you add song to codec? Again, something we've asked for a lot. Um, can't say it's coming, but I will relay that message once again. Because, yeah, we've, we've said that a lot but since before launch. Can I get more free play maps? Again, something the team wanted to do. Uh, that requires a lot of effort. So it's a little lower on the priority list. We'd rather add more new content in the ways of new missions, new maps for gameplay. But it's something we'd like to see, too. So who knows? Again, maybe if the team has time, it can get to it. Other things are in the way a little bit, though. Free text chat, not preset. Uh, no, not in the works anytime soon. Um, yes, we've heard that for a long, long, long time. But it requires a lot more effort than you guys think. Regardless, I'd still like to see it because I'm sympathetic. But who knows? Not anytime soon, unfortunately. Uh, I'd like to start talking about stuff that we are going to do. You guys are asking about a lot of things that we aren't yet going to do. But there are plenty of things that we have been doing, uh, and of course, a lot of effort's been made to get out some really big updates. So I hope you guys like the March one, I hope you guys like Survival Coming April, I hope you guys like a lot of the new content. Uh, we're going to keep adding stuff, we're going to keep supporting the game, as long as you guys are there playing it. That's really the measure of whether or not we can keep going, is your guys' support. So while I know a lot of people are like, I'm going to vote for my, vote with my wallet when there's things I'm dissatisfied for and not buy the DLC, you're free to do so, of course, but know that our support is contingent upon your guys' support. I'm not saying it's your fault. It's not. You guys got to play what you want to play, play the games you like. I insist that you do. And I hope you like MGO, and I hope you guys continue playing, and we're going to continue to do what we can to satisfy you and make you guys happy and make you guys enjoy the game and find more players out there to come and join you guys in these matches. And that's all we can do, keep them going forward, is keep adding stuff best we can. So I hope you do support us. I hope you do support buying the new DLC, maybe buying a couple of appeal actions, doing what you can to enjoy the game with the new content. But of course, we'll provide stuff for free as long as you guys keep playing. We'll keep adding stuff. So thank you for that. Well, let's see. I think that's about it. I'm going to close the chat now. Close the stream. Again, thank you. Thank you guys for staying up late. I know it's late. And I'll catch you guys later on the battlefield in Metal Gear Online. Thank you so much. Well, let's see. I think that's about it.